So I heard this song on the radio twice today in less than like four hours. I guess I just had to expel it somehow. So if you sat through all that, you deserve a fair shake of an explanation as to how it was played. So let's just jump in. I turned off the synthesizer pedal. So we're capoing three and the bass note is just gonna be fifth string, so to speak, open, low E on the sixth, low E on the first, or call it the fourth. And the middle part, the main chord shape is gonna be like an A minor seven, except for it's on capo three. So we'll have D string on the fifth fret, the G string open, and the B string on the fourth fret. That's like this. And we're gonna pull off on the fretted strings to open under the capo. And we're gonna bounce the bass note. down pick and then I'm using these three fingers to just do the pick and pull so now for the long way to Mexico part you're gonna play every string except for the A string and you're gonna fret the low E and the B on the sixth, pardon me, the fourth fret, or uh, from the capo perspective, the first fret. So it's blocked. Second chord is literally all six strings. The only fretted note is the A string on the fifth fret. So. Now that section, you know the section, the one you sing in your car and you hope nobody hears you or sees you doing it. So we're going to follow that, that melody note. We're going to start with that same A minor seven type of shape and we add the pinky one fifth above the first fret. So the pinky is going to be high E sixth fret. So that's 
the first chord. And we're always in this section, we're always playing the A through high E strings, five through one, all of them. And you can use the open A string as your pedal when you want. Or so the next shape is gonna come up here and it's gonna be the D string on the eighth fret. The G string is actually open and the B string is on the sixth fret and the high E string is on the eighth fret. So we have, and again, all five strings and we have kind of an open string thing happening there. Then the, as we follow that melody up, we keep the same exact shape, leave the G string open. <laughs> So to review, in the same shapes, get the idea, and remember use that uh, if you want. open D string and the G string on the fifth fret, the B string open, so to speak, and the high E on the fifth fret. So, um, and then you get the idea. And of course, at my side is my trusty Hughes and Kettner Triamp Mark III. And that is that really nice clean channel, which is Amp 1A. And as you can see, I use a fairly neutral EQ with the treble in the mid, bumped up slightly, bass is way up, modest amount of gain. So, uh... And I guess this wouldn't be complete without the effects walkthrough. So the effects that were used in that tune were specifically, there's always uh, Strymon, Big Sky, doing the reverb. And um, got the old Boss DD500 giving us a little delay. And in this particular case, I did engage the Boss synthesizer pedal as such. And I had the MXR Phase 95 in full effect. And I used a chorus preset on the Eventide pitch factor.